morning. So we're going to stay with an energising practice today. Uh, if you come to lie down, if you're comfortable, placing your hands on your belly, and you might like to have your knees bent just to feel your lower back a little bit more settled on the ground. So shoulder blades come underneath you, scoop the tailbone, you can rest the hands on the belly if you like. And just let the breath move you. I'm going to put a little bit of sound on. The focus this week, I've been focusing on sun energy. So this could be, if you like, quite a dynamic practice. But as always, just take the next couple of minutes, maybe with the hands on the belly, just allowing your lower back to sink down and relax. And then where is the breath in the body? Can you feel the chest and the belly rise? As you breathe out, can you feel the whole of the back of your body just rest down onto the ground? We're just going to breathe a little bit deeper, a little bit slower for the next couple of rounds. See if you can let the body be completely passive. So the only movement that you feel is the rise and fall of the breath. like a visualization in focusing on today is the sun so you could picture golden light at your solar plexus maybe having your hands on your tummy for a moment and this is your original power source so before you're even born you have this source of energy your mother's womb, that's all humans. Something that connects us all. And just in the next couple of breaths, you're going to inhale, feel everything soften. And then as you exhale, see if you can have a sense of drawing in and up through the pelvic floor, through the perineum area, that sense of gathering in and up. Inhale, let it release, soften, the chest and the belly rise. Exhale, we draw up through the root, the mula, bandha, to lift and contain energy. Inhale again, let everything soften. And then exhale, lifting through the pelvic floor. And you might notice at this point a little tilt in your pelvis. Inhale again, maybe take the arms up and out now. Maybe a stretch, maybe a yawn comes in. And then we're gonna add on to that pelvic tilt with the power coming from the center. So bring your arms wherever's comfortable. As you breathe in, perhaps tilt the pelvis forward so your tailbone into the ground. You sort of hollow out your lower back. And then as you exhale, go the other way, maybe the tailbone lifts just off the ground. Do that a few more times. Inhale, let the pelvis tilt away. And then exhale, gather the pelvic floor to roll the tailbone in towards you. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, lift up. So we're gonna add the arms now. Bring the arms down by your side. Turn the palms up as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, engage pelvic floor, press the feet, lift the hips, lift the arms up and over your head. And then lower back down again. So lifting on the exhale might be slightly different to what you're used to. Keep your head still, let the movement be organic. So maybe slow and gentle this morning maybe a bit more dynamic see how you're feeling 
all of my instructions are invitations. And then slowly come back down. Relax on the ground, stretch your legs out, take a full body stretch, arms over your head, big breath in, hold it for a moment, and then breathe out through the mouth. <sighs> Good. So we're going to gather in the right leg, interlace hands around the shin, squeeze the knee out, then back in again, relax your hip. Start to lengthen the left leg away from you, don't worry if it doesn't straighten. So relax everything. As you inhale and then as you exhale, squeeze the knee towards the shoulder. The last part here, if you like, is just to lift that left leg off the ground. Keep your chin tucked in. Keep your lower back pressing onto the ground. Now point your right toe and flex your left toe so you're pressing out through your heel. And then release the arms and legs into the air. Circle the wrists and ankles. Let your tailbone go from side to side so you make some swirling, liquid, watery movements. If the practice gets too fiery today, you can always come back to fluid, cooling, more lunar elements. Yeah, you guys know that I give you plenty of choice and that's for you to find your own kind of groove today and every day is different. So interlace hands around the left shin, let the right foot be on the ground. As you exhale, squeeze the knee in, relax that hip. Extend the right leg away for a moment. If it doesn't straighten, you can always bring it back again. And you can stay here, you can relax both hips and then just squeeze the left knee in towards the shoulder as you exhale. If you wanna go a little bit further, engage pelvic floor, lift up through that right leg, extend the right heel away. Can you relax your upper body here so you're just using the strength of that leg and the core keeps the lower back anchored to the ground. One more breath, point the left toe, flex the right toe. And then relief, again, release, relief. Take the hands to the feet, little happy baby, roll from side to side. And then lift the hands and feet into the air, circle the wrists and ankles. And we're going to do one more movement here, which is mirroring the movement we're going to do in our warm-up flow. Yeah? And I always like to map movements with the body in different shapes. Helps us to be aware of what muscles we're using. So bring your hands up as if you're in downward dog. And then lift your feet. So have your shoulder blades on the ground. Point your right toe, bend the right knee in towards the chest. And then lower the left leg. So you can lower it halfway, flex the foot or you can lower it further down. So see, one's probably a bit more challenging than the other. Stay with what you feel. And then we're gonna change legs. So point the left toe, flex the right foot, press it away. Yeah, good. Continue to do this a couple more times. Those of you who feel a bit stronger today, you can lift your head and shoulders up, but keep the tips of your shoulder blades on the ground. Yeah, that will encourage you to use lower muscles. If you lift your shoulder blades up, you might start to use the chest and the upper back. Yeah. So remembering, even if you're just doing it really slowly, your head can stay down. Remembering all these front body muscles that we're using. And if you want to add that coordination element, pointing and flexing the feet, just to be more annoying. And then release, <laughs> come to lie back down. Any movement that feels good here, maybe that happy baby, maybe just giving yourself a cuddle. And we're gonna rock and roll up to use a little bit more boat pose. So coming to Navasana, hug the knees in, breathe in deeply. As you exhale, engage with Abanda. Inhale, exhale. So maybe that's the movement that lifts you up. Yeah, you can swing the legs for momentum, that's fine. Or we can come up into Navasana. So the feet can be on the ground, hands to the back of the legs. You can lift the chest, you can lift the feet. Just see how you go. We're going to add a little twist. So if you need to have your hands here or hands here, that's absolutely fine. If you're feeling a little bit more dynamic, straighten out the legs, release the arms. And then let's twist over to the left. Big smile. 
once said that she's a yoga teacher. Back to the centre, annoyingly perky today. Over to the other side. Back to the centre, yay! So you hug the knees in, rolling over. Good. Now coming onto the hands and knees, maybe take the arms forward and just circle the hips a couple of times, bending your elbows. So maybe coming onto fingertips, I like to just kind of tune into how your body's feeling today. You might have been up for a while or you might still have the remnants of the position you were in when you were asleep. So you might have an area that's like, oh yeah, that feels a bit stuck. So make sure you spiral your spine around all the different directions that it's designed to go in. And if you want to rest back into child's pose at any time in this next bit of flow, we're going to build the energy. Give yourself permission to do that. In yoga, we practice ahimsa, so the ah meaning to not, himsa, violence or harm. And that includes violence to the spirit with that inner critic. So just watch your mind and let your body rest when you need to. Plant the hands flat now, lift the tail, lift the heart, and then round the spine. Do that a couple of times. Lift the tail, lift the heart, and then round the spine. You can move with breath now if you like. Two more, lift up, maybe look up. Exhale, relax the neck, navel draws up. Good. And then come back to the center, have the hands directly under the shoulders, knees under hips. Take your left leg back, press through the heel, and then lift that leg up. So just turn the toes out to the side and pulse that leg a couple of times. That will give you the glute medius activation. Yeah, and that's really gonna help us in our balance. Lovely. And then come onto your fingertips, turn the toes to the ground, round the spine, knee to nose. Good, inhale, lift the head with the tail. Exhale, draw it in. Go as gently as you like. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, draw it in. Yeah, good. So take the foot back, plank position, plant the hands. You can be on the knees or the knees can be lifted. You choose. So take a breath here, push back through the heels, lift up on the thighs, and then slowly lower down. Good. So in our flow today, we're going to add Shalabhasana. So take your arms forward, rest your head on the ground. And if you don't feel super solo today, the Shalabhasana in the Vinyasa is the opportunity to have a rest. Yeah, a full inhale and exhale of relaxation. Yeah, if that's what your body needs, take that. Take your arms forward, point your toes, press your feet into the ground and then lift your head and shoulders up. Draw your chin in so your neck is nice and long. Reach forward with the arms. See if you can squeeze your legs together. If that hurts your back, don't do it. And then lift the legs off the ground. Hold for three, two, one. And then slide the hands by the ribs. Relax down. Roll from side to side. Serpentine Cobra. This is our cooling, releasing, watery part. If it gets too fiery, come down and stay here. In the technical term wiggling around on the floor <laughs> back into child's pose or if you feel ready maybe back into downward dog yeah if you've got dog pose wag your tail we're going to come to do that little glute activation on the other side so come down onto the knees come onto the fingertips if your wrists are tender extend the right leg back push through that heel and then lift that leg up turn the foot out and then just a little pulse with that leg. So the glute medius, the deeper muscle underneath the rounded glute maximus, really good for kind of that core stability. Kind of know where it is when you're doing this exercise. And then extend the leg back, lift up, lift the chest. Here I'm coming onto fingertips to save the wrists and then rounding the spine, knee to nose. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Good. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. So coming back to plank pose. Low or high. Remember it's your body, your practice, your choice. Come down on the exhale. Keep the elbows in close. 
reach your arms forward on the inhale, opportunity to rest, or lift everything off as you exhale. Hold for the inhale, hands by the ribs as you exhale, relax down. Now the breath wave rolls you into cobra. The exhale takes the seat to the heels, hips lift down with dog, good. So in downward dog, maybe let one leg lift into the air. You can do that foot to the side, glute medius lift if you like. And lower back down again, other leg lifts up, foot to the side, and then slowly lower down. So we're gonna come forward again to Dandasana, plank pose. As you exhale, hover the body to the ground, low or high, chaturanga if it's there. Reach your arms forward as you breathe in, relax your neck. As you breathe out, pelvic floor lifts, lift the arms, lift the legs. Hold for the inhale, hands by the ribs as you exhale. Roll your shoulders, cobra. Tuck your toes, down dog. Lovely. So the power flow transition now. We're gonna do from downward dog after I've hooked my leggings up, still over my lockdown chop friend. We're getting there though. <laughs> So remember when you were lying on the ground, it's kind of using those muscles here. So lift the right leg up and then exhale, round the spine, bring the knee to the nose. You can take your body forward a little bit here. Good. Inhale, lift back up. Same thing. Exhale, knee to nose. So push off the ball of the left foot. Use your tummy muscle. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, draw it in. Good. So step that foot through. So we're gonna come into a balance. So lean into that front foot, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna take the back knee up, coming up to stand. Lift your arms, lift your leg, we will wobble, yes. <laughs> now twist, bring the right arm forward, left arm back. Good, inhale, center, wonderful. Hands to the heart. Come back through warrior three and then back into a high lunge. Yeah, lovely, good. Inhale, lift your arms. As you exhale, take your left hand down, drop the left knee if you're tired, and then circle this right arm three times, up and around. You can inhale, take it forward, sink the hips down. You can exhale, draw the hips back if you like. One more, inhale. Exhale. So take the hands to the ground, back into plank. You can come high plank or low, you choose. And then hover the body to the ground. Reach your arms forward, here's an opportunity to rest. Or exhale, lift up. Hold for the inhale. Hands by the ribs, exhale. Roll your shoulders, cobra. Roll back, downward dog. Good, power flow on that left side. So take it easy, you can do this down on the knees. Lift the left leg into the air. Exhale round, knee towards the nose. Inhale, lift back up. Remember that fire in your belly, that light at your power center. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, now stepping the foot through. You might need to help it there, that's fine. We were all there once. And then we're going to come into our balance. So breathe in to prepare. As you exhale, the pelvic floor lifts the knee and lifts the hands. And then twist, take the right arm back, left arm forward. Back to the center, warrior three. Extend back and take your arms forward if you don't have a plant in your face. And then land that back foot. Yeah, good. Inhale, high lunge, we will wobble. Exhale, right hand down, yeah, good. So three circles with this left arm, nice and smooth. Drawing back, yeah, breathing in. Breathing out, gentle with the shoulders. Inhale, and exhale, lovely. So now our flow, stepping back, high plank if you're energized, low plank if you're more lunar. Softly lower to the ground. Reach your arms forward, inhale. As you exhale, that power center lifts you up. Hold it for the inhale, doesn't have to be high. Exhale, hands by the ribs, relax everything. Roll the shoulders, inhale. 
tuck the toes. Exhale, well done. So we're gonna come up towards the hands. We're gonna put all that together in our little faster flow. Hands together, step or jump the feet to the sides of the hands. Come to a half squat, knee, elbows on the knee. On the legs, and <laughs> take the tailbone from side to side. So a little twist here, draw the weight back into your heels if you can. Engage by the take the left arm up to the side. Yeah, good, strong legs. Come back to centre, keep the knees over ankles. Other side, hello thighs, back to the centre, well done. So we could do a nice forward bend here, or we could take the arms out to the side and rise up. Grunting is optional. Take the feet parallel, bring the hands down. Just stand for a moment. Coming back as we did in the beginning to a nice slow deep breath. And maybe that golden sunshine at your center, your hara, your power center. I can be quite mean about my belly because that's where I store lots of my lockdown friend cheese weight. Um, but we've got a lot of power there. We're kind of magical and amazing with our digestive system. So I'm trying to speak kindly to that part of my body and be grateful that I have it. <laughs> so spread the toes nice and wide. Let's flow. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bow to the earth. Bend your knees, Uttanasana. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale. So you can come back to downward dog or you can come back through a flow coming all the way to the ground, reach the arms forward, and then as you exhale, lift to Shalabhasana. Hold it for the inhale. Exhale, hands come down, ride the breath wave, cobra, breathe in and lift. Tuck toes, exhale, draw back. Lovely, okay, so let's flow. Now power flow transition again. If you don't love it, come onto the knees and the fingertips and do it from there, yeah? This time the left leg is gonna lead. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, round knee to nose, good. Inhale, lift up, maybe take it across now towards the right elbow. Inhale, lift up, maybe towards the left elbow. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, step it through. Take a breath to prepare, coming into balance. Yes, you can. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the legs. Exhale, twist, round to the right. Inhale, centre. Come down, warrior three, press out through that back heel. Land the foot. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, right hand down, left arm into the air for twist. Exhale, hand to the ground. Now you could do three-legged dog here, or back to plank, you choose. Come down to the ground through scorpion, take it easy. When you get there, inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, lift off the ground. Hold it for the inhale, it doesn't have to be high. Hands by the ribs, exhale, let something go. Roll into cobra or maybe upward dog. Roll back, child's pose or downward dog. Let's do the right leg, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, curl it. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, maybe twist, take it across towards the left elbow. Inhale, lift up towards the right elbow. And then inhale, lift up. And exhale, take it through. Hold for a breath, we've got this. Exhale, lift the knee, lift the hands. Exhale, twist, right arm forward, left arm back, yes. Inhale, centre, wobbling is how we learn. Come back. Prayer position or reach your arms forward. Land the back foot. Inhale, rise like the sun. Exhale, left hand down, right arm twists up. Hands to the ground. So coming back either to plank or three-legged dog if it's there. Come forward and lower with control. As you inhale, reach your arms forward. As you exhale, either stay resting or lift Shalabhasana, you're in control. Holding for the inhale, let's meet in Cobra. It might be watery, it might be gentle, it 
might be upward dog, <laughs> downward dog or child's pose. Well done. Wonderful. So we're going to do one more round if you're like, yay, <laughs> and then slow things down. And the choice here, as always, stay on the knees, skip the vinyasa, just tweak it, yeah, like you're making food ingredients in the pot. You don't need all the spices, or do you? So slowly, right leg leads, direct path now. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take it through. Inhale to prepare, get long. Exhale, lift the left knee, lift the hands. Extend for a twist, maybe take the leg out. Yes, back to the center. Warrior three. Land the back foot. Inhale, rise. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Hand to the ground, step back, plank, three-legged dog, you choose. Come to the ground with control. Arms reach forward as you inhale. Pelvic floor lifts the body as you exhale. Hold for the inhale. And then bring the hands down, relax your head. Roll your shoulders, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog, other side, nearly there. Lift the left leg up, breathe in. Step it forward, breathe out. Inhale to prepare. Lift the knee, lift the arms. Twist around, maybe extend that leg. Back to the center. Warrior three, take it easy. Land the back foot. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, twist, right hand down, left arm up, perfect. Wobbling is how we learn. Hands to the ground, step back, plank or three-legged dog. Lower to the ground. Reach your arms forward, we're nearly there. And exhale, either rest or lift off the ground. Hold for the inhale. Hands by the ribs, exhale. Roll your shoulders, cobra or up face. Exhale, roll over the toes. Downward facing dog, well done. So we can walk, step, or if you feel like it, you can jump to the top of your mat, turn your toes out, come to half, or this time full squat if it's there. Just settle through the breath, start to slow the heartbeat down. Maybe take the hands to the center. So you're noticing your heart beating. Noticing perhaps if you can slowly exhale, relax your shoulders and your jaw. And as you slow the breath, the heartbeat slows down. This is soothing our nervous system. Strong flows build resilience in the body and in our emotional health. Yeah, it's really good to challenge ourselves physically. But then as we get stronger, so does our mental health. So the right hand can come down, the left arm can come out. Back to the center. Other side, nice and gentle. Back to the center. So bring the hands down, lift the hips up. Turn the feet parallel, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. So deep forward bend. You might hug the back of your knees here. Again, cooling the fire, letting yourself relax. And then you can either roll up, or you can take your arms out, and then lift up. Yeah, lovely everyone, well done. Exhale. Stand again, Tadasana. You're going to come down to the ground for Shavasana. So lift your arms up again. Maybe take one foot behind the other, so perhaps see if you can come down without hop touching the ground. I find this quite tricky using the edges of the feet. Yeah. yeah, it's quite difficult. Lift the feet up and then come either to stretch your legs out in Shavasana or maybe ending this little bit as we began. The hands on the belly, the feet on the ground and that fire in the belly. The golden light, your own power. And letting So 
you might take your feet to the sides of the mat. Just do a little windscreen wiper movement, gently left and right. And if you don't feel like doing any more core work, we've done a, we've done a fair bit today. So you can just do some watery hip swaying stuff instead. And if you want to do full core exercise, we'll just take the soles of the feet together a little bit further away from you. Roll the tailbone under, bring something under your hips if you need to. Just taking the hands to the belly and just kind of relaxing that area there. We've been doing quite a lot of sort of crunching up, so perhaps press down smoothly. Hip flexor, the belly. And then I wanted to work in our core strength. Two things today, and the second one's a little bit more like a high intensity thing, so when we come up to do that, you might be like, no thank you, Bryony. Um, I didn't come here for high intensity interval training, I came for yoga. So that's fine, you can stay with the yoga one, um, or you can do a little freestyle. But first of all, I wanna work on the kind of transfer, so the twisting muscles, yeah? So just lift your feet into the air, hold the knees really lightly, and then lift the arms up, but have them quite passive, so sort of floppy hands, but elbows bent out to the side, yeah, good. And then just take your knees from side to side, so your tailbone is turning. So you've got that feeling of your tailbone kind of going like that way and that way on your mat. Yeah, so you could swing from side to side, like side to side like that, or you could kind of go like that, and then like that, and then like that, like skiing. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And then hold the back of the legs, take them out a little bit wider, and now roll across your back. So you might feel a little bit more in the hips. Good, so you can come back to any of these wiggling around movements if this next bit's too strong. Take the feet into the air, just cradle the back of your head gently in your left hand. I'm only lifting up the top of the shoulders and the head. Yeah, so the shoulder blades stay on the ground. Yeah, so it's not a super kind of pressing into the middle of the belly exercise. Right arm comes across to the outside of the left thigh, and then the right leg slowly lowers down. You can make yogi toes here if you like, pressing into the ball of, balls of the feet. Good, come back up again. We're gonna slowly lower on the inhale, maybe, and then lift back up on the exhale. Good, maybe once or twice more. And then come back to the center, have a little rest, maybe full body stretch, breathe in and hold. <sighs> Let's do the other side. So the legs are in the air. And right hand is just gently cradling the back of your head. Left hand comes across. And this time it's the left leg that lowers. And maybe, I, I'm, for some reason I'm quite a bit stronger on this side. Maybe the left side of your body lifts off the ground a little bit, but go slowly because it's the slow lifting gets right into these deep transverse abdominals. So as the name would suggest, they kind of around, wrap around the body. It's a horizontal kind of band of muscle, muscle tissue crisscrosses. So the kind of crossing, cross lateral movement helps to strengthen. Now we're gonna put that together. So lie back down, take a full body stretch, or just relax, have a baby. And we're gonna do that as a flow. So lift the legs, cradle the head, twist to the left, right leg lowers. Back to center, changing sides. Left leg lowers, yeah, good. So if you've got like a four, five, or maybe even six second breath here, I would suggest you do it, do it really slowly. <laughs> You're like, but that makes it more difficult. <laughs> it kind of just gets into the deeper muscles. So if you do short, sharp movements, you get fast twitch muscle fibers. We're interested in the slow, well, we're interested in both, but the slow twitch fibers are really good for burning off glucose, really good for helping to manage and regulate the stress response. And then slowly, that's enough. Come back to the center. Oh, relax. We're just gonna take a really slow bridge pose here, lifting the hips. And relax.
relaxing the upper body. And then slowly lower down. Yeah, good. So you can rock and roll here. You can come up again through boat pose if you like, or just come to bring the soles of the feet together and then take the hands forward and just relax here. Yeah, so we're gonna meet you here. If you wanna add in that boat twist, we're gonna lift the feet again, take the hands around the back of the legs. So you can stay holding your legs. You can keep the knees bent, look and spread your toes out. Or we can twist, straightening out the right leg, bringing the left hand across, and maybe the right arm back a little bit, yeah? So keep breathing, keep lifting. If I was a really cheesy yoga teacher, I'd say lift the corners of your mouth. And I am a really cheesy yoga teacher, so there you go. And then back to the center, let's change sides. So extend the neck, extend the arm, smile. And then release, well done. So we're gonna cross over roll onto the belly. Just going to give us a moment in Sphinx pose. Again, just to stretch out the hip flexors. You can turn your palms up for a moment if you like. Elbows a little bit forward of the shoulders. And then let the hands be where they want to. So that might be facing in, that might be relaxing down. Let your head relax down. Excuse me, just breathe. Soften between the shoulder blades as you exhale. Let your whole body be heavy. You could stay here for this next bit. You could lift the feet, let them sway from side to side. Or we could do one more little core exercise. So our standing sequence today, um, it's quite a lot of moving balance. Yeah, it's quite sort of slow, quite mellow. So this is the last like really high intensity bit, I promise. <laughs> if that helps you to join in, but again, your choice always. If you don't feel like doing it, that's fine. So coming up into downward dog, take your time. You can come back through child's pose. You can take as long as you like to get there. And then we're just gonna do from plank position, that a kind of speeded up version of the power flow, yeah? And you can stay slow if you feel like it today. Sometimes slow is the way, you know? Sometimes we've got the fire. But you can either be a, a candle flame, maybe a votive devotional candle, devoting your energy, or a firework, yeah? Anything in between. So lifting to downward dog, coming to plank, and then making the plank slightly shorter, so it's kind of halfway between dog and plank pose. Left knee comes in towards the nose, and then we're just gonna change legs. So left leg back, right leg in. So you can keep doing this quite slowly, or you can speed it up as if you were running. Yeah, but keep the form. Yeah, <laughs> good. So we're only gonna do this for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> back into downward dog, well done. You might add a vinyasa, inhale. Inhale, exhale, yeah, for sure, Give, add the Shalabhasana. Okay, so let's come into our flow, slowing it down now, but with control. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, stepping it through. We're gonna inhale to prepare, and then exhale, coming up into our balance. So lift the knee, lift the hands. Yes, so we're gonna stay in the twist now. Right hand to left leg. Left hand just directs that tailbone down so there's space for the upper body to twist. Good, if you wanna go further, you can extend the arm, extend the leg. <sighs> Wonderful, back to the center. Take hold of that knee now with the left hand. Come into a hip opener. If you feel like you wanna catch the foot and explore, go for it. And then come back to the center. Coming into warrior three. So tap the fingertips of the heart, extend the left leg back. So if you bring your hands to the ground, have a rest or bring that back foot down, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna come up, taking the knee and the hands up and then come back into warrior three. So two more, you can keep the arms forward as you extend the leg back if you like. Inhale, coming up, hold the wall if you need to. 
and then coming back. Yeah, it's meant to be really difficult. You can see I also find this really challenging. <laughs> so we're going to step back. <sighs> Good. So bring the hands to the hips. We would just come off that right leg for a moment. And then have your feet hip width distance apart, your back foot turning in, kind of out to the side in line with your knee. And we're going to come into that diagonal kind of alignment where your tailbone, your right hip draws back, left hip draws round. So your pelvis is kind of level or your hips are in line with each other. And then you really push back into that left heel. You use these glute medius muscles. And what that does, it means we can lean forward without too much pressure on this right hip. So the left leg is taking loads of the body weight with lots of active pressure. So the right knee can bend without strain. Good. Now either stay here or reach your arms forward. Now you are the fire. Okay, so ujjayi breath. Lift bandha, press back into that heel. Be the power that you have within you. Yes, and then lift up. <sighs> Turn the feet parallel, take the arms around. Yeah, good. So just shifting the weight from foot to foot, cooling that fire, <laughs> coming into some more watery movements. So I'm going to turn the toes out, heels in, slide the hands by the leg bones, maybe come from side to side. Take it easy. <sighs> Good. And then as you're ready, slowly circle the arms up. We're going to come down, bending your knees as much as you like. So fingertips tap at the chest. You might bend your knees a tiny bit, you might not. You might come all the way down. Check in with how you're breathing. Keep your crown of the head above your tail if you can. Yeah, roll the shoulders, wiggle the hips, do what you need to do. Maybe lift one heel. And the ball of the foot, the opposite foot. Maybe come to the other side, lift the heel, and the ball of the opposite foot. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Other side, other side. Good. Just tap, 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 tap. And then slowly release. Oh, hello, thighs. Turn the thighs in. Inhale, reach the arms. And we're going to fold forward. So you might want to bring your hands straight to the ground. You might want to rub the back of your legs. Bend your knees. Let your hands come down. And then maybe just let the upper body kind of hang, be passive. You can walk your hands forward if you want a bit more space. And continue to bend one knee and then the other. Nice and smooth. You can play with taking the weight from one side to the other. Let this be a little bit instinctual. So what do you need today? Do you want to come down low, make it more earthy? Or are you just kind of sahaja, spontaneous? Whatever arises, you can't get this wrong. You're going to walk slowly, maybe with your eyes closed around towards the right foot going to come into a low lunge here and slowly lift the arms up good and then exhale hands to the heart we're going to do an open twist here so you could we could come forward and do that kind of revolve but i want to stay upright today bring the left hand around right hand to the low back and then use this hand just to direct the tailbone down so your spine stays long as you turn, drop the chin, take the eyes to the right. Once you're there, soften your back muscles. That's my knee clicking. Unravel on an inhale, take your arms up. Then as you exhale, just open the chest and maybe take the hips forward slightly. So soft wrists, soft elbows, floating light. And then the hands come down to the ground. So the left hand comes out a little bit, right hand to the heart. You can lift off the back knee for more fire or stay down. You choose. 
right arm comes out to the side, maybe forwards and up now. So it's like almost like a little back bend. Breathe here. And then take the hand to the ground. Now your flow. You can come through lizard. You can draw the hips back. Ada Hanuman. Both of those. <laughs> Coming back through your flow. So I'm going to take Vashasthasana, left hand on the shoulder, right foot back. Wall of the foot behind the left knee, right arm into the air. And coming around from here. So Jala flow, knee to nose, opposite side. And coming around, last little bit, lower to the ground. Maybe reach your arms forward. Shalabhasana on the exhale. Hands to the ground. Let's roll through cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Well done. So I'm changing sides so that I can stay facing you. So last little bit. Left leg from downward dog. Lift it up. Take it through. That bit might take practice. A couple of years. There's no rush. Lift the knee, lift the leg. Roll, wobble. <laughs> and coming back, go in three. And then back up again. Do a slightly different way around on this side. Lift up. And then back. We will wobble one more like that. Lift up. Coming into the twist. So when you come up, right hand on the lower back, left hand, right thigh, you can circle the arm, extend the leg. Hold it for a breath. Good, lovely. Wobbling is learning. Now open the hip, right hand to hip or the foot, left hand to hip, sorry, knee, and then open out. Again, you can catch the foot, or kind of go hand to the hook to the big toe. Stepping back, reaching back, and then hands to the hips, just saying thank you very much, that left hip, <laughs> turn the right foot in, make sure your feet are hip width distance apart, and then draw right hip forward, left hip back. Now use this glute, I can always tell which side of my body is stronger, that's why I do this variation of Vera 1, because rehabilitating after surgery and whatnot. So as you press into that back foot, it's easier to lean the weight forward without pressure on this left knee. Yeah. You can stay here, it's quite strong. Or maybe Kali Mudra, calling on that inner destruction. Sometimes we're going to burn shit down in order to start again. So fire in the belly, you are the fire now. You are the power. Strong Ujjayi breath. Yes, one more deep breath. And then lift up. <sighs> hands out to the side, good. So another forward bend. You might want to interlace your hands at your back. Or you might not. Bend the knees, come forward. Take it easy. <sighs> if you've got the binds, just make sure again that your shoulders are not screaming at you. Release the bind when you feel ready. Shift the weight from foot to foot and then come to stillness. So hands can be out in front of you or around your feet. Knees can bend and straighten. And then take one full deep breath with the body still. And then walking your hands, padding the hands slowly to the left. Low lunge, right knee touches down. Inhale, we roll up, hands to the heart. So you want the back nice and straight here, open twist, right hand to cross, left hand to lower back. Each vertebrae level and lifted, and then you turn, shoulder blades draw together, chin drops, eyes draw to the left. Relax your back muscles, just you notice the breathing. Twisting, blood flow to the digestive system, unravel on an inhale, 
Yeah, <laughs> lovely, good. Right hand comes down. You can lift the right knee for fire or stay cool, left hand to heart. And then circle it up, so maybe forward, kind of on a diagonal. <sighs> and then circling the arm around. Now your flow, so you might come to lizard and then just gently rock the hips backwards and forwards. If you don't feel like doing Vashastasa and the side plank, don't do it. You can come back and rest. Or you can plant the hands, get that left foot back. So you might stay on the right knee, or you might be in that full, expressive, powerful transition. Just check the whole body's really involved. And as you come around, keep the breath nice and fluid. We're going to meet on the belly, so if you've got one more vinyasa and you go for it, otherwise just come all the way down and rest, yeah, relax, let yourself completely rest. I'm going to close our sequence coming to lie on your back, so as we did in the beginning, coming to lie on your back. And perhaps just letting your shoulders and your hips settle. And as you're at home, you could, at this point, get a cushion or a folded blanket and just place it underneath your hips. You could do like a nice restorative back bend. Or you can come straight to Shavasana if you've had enough. Or we can just do a little rolling bridge, rolling the hips. Gently up and down as we did in the beginning. You can take your arms up and over your head if you like. Just make sure you don't turn your head while you're moving up and down. Just keep your neck in line as an extension of your spine. Coming down when you've had enough. And just hugging that right knee in for a moment. Last little bit here. Flex the right foot, bring it onto the left ankle. Maybe catch that left leg, figure of four, threading the needle. Just a couple of breaths here, feeling that right glute stretch and then release. slowly coming down so we've done enough twisting today we'll just lower that right leg down take a breath squeeze the left leg in on the exhale and bring the ankle onto the right thigh catch around that right leg if you want to movements that you have that you want to do preparing for Shavasana so making sure we give ourselves full comfort that might mean grabbing an extra layer of blanket stretching your legs out coming to completely relax either on your back or your side wherever it's comfortable and you're going to be in Shavasana I'm just going to go through a guided relaxation and then be quiet for a couple of minutes. So getting really comfortable and settled. Maybe taking one last controlled breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Feeling your whole body now relax. Feeling the softening in the forehead and the eyes. Feeling the 
softening the chest and the belly. And the shoulders and the upper back release. Your elbows to your wrists. Your palms relax. Each of your fingers and thumbs relax. rise and fall of your belly. As you exhale, you feel the hips and lower back. Release and let go. That softening down through the thigh muscles, the knee joints, ankles, Soles of the feet soften, your toes relax, the crown of your head relaxes, the scalp, the face, the whole back of the body, the whole body completely relaxed. Slowly deepen your breath. Maybe when you feel ready, bringing your hands back onto your tummy, giving thanks for this power source, this energetic center, it has the capacity for change, like food changes to energy, fire in your belly. Burn off the dross of what you don't need. Help you to see clearly again. You can give yourself a cuddle or have a stretch or do whatever you like. You can turn me off now and enjoy a seated meditation. Or you can come up and we can close the practice together just in a comfortable seat. You can close your practice however you wish. I like to just take the arms up. Bring the thumbs to the third eye, gesture of gratitude for the teachings and the open mind to share them. And pass the throat to the heart, always generous, compassionate, 
open, giving. Past the belly to the earth, giving thanks to Mother Earth for another day. The sun always rises. Namaste. Take it easy.